right, we're back with Cameron and the fucking goon squad here. I didn't hire a goon squad, I just hired one really good goon. You don't need the whole Avengers when you can get away with the Hulk. Yeah. Basically, I let him keep my stolen Pokemon cards, and in return, he kicked the shit out of the guy who stole from me. And then no one ever stole from me again. Yep. Typically, you want to steal from people people smaller than weaker than you, smaller and weaker than you, but not if they are people with the means to hire goons, because <laughs> goons are typically neither smaller nor weaker than you. Ah, the sweet oasis, yeah. where I can just dunk my head underwater and heal. Ah, the rejuvenating powers of camel piss. <laughs> okay, so talk to the pink bomb and open up the bomber thing for later. Oh yeah, it's a good idea. Hey there. I mean, I'm no scientist or anything, but this nicely rendered orb will help. Okay. I mean, considering it was the N64 and they were just all about polygons. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> um... Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to... Oh, crap, he doesn't move. Buddy? Okay, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. What, what was our stated objective here? Uh, steal something from the talons of the sandbird. Oh, yeah, you gotta take the star. Right out wait. for that fucking vulture. Yep, I have to collect the red coins off of the bird. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, you had a 50-50 chance of that going poor. How do I... Ah, they've perfectly recreated Game. how unwieldy the camera was. Fuck! Well, at least the stars are... At least the... Fuck the, um... Just stop while you're ahead. At least the cannons are open. <laughs> I want to... Yay, hopping think... box. Oh, no. What? I'm fine. I'm fine. You were very close to not being fine. <laughs> I think this place was the hardest to get the hundred coins in. No, you just had to go into the temple. That could have been bad. Mm. Don't worry, they don't leave their predetermined path. Okay, you so, know, I need the hat. You need the hat and the cannon. Hat. And now I need to catch that vulture. Fucking blow him out of the sky, Elmer Fudd. It's duck season! Whoa. Oh, Jesus, okay. That was, that, um, uh... That, uh, slightly more... Slight miscalculation. <laughs> Where's that bird? Make sure he doesn't get your hat. You can steal my hat? Yeah. Yeah, he does that frequently, actually. You're gonna wanna land on that pyramid carefully. Yeah. Considering it is just made out of angles. It was here, right? One up. Oh, Jesus. Uh, oh. I guess it's over there. You might wanna go before your hat disappears. Fuck, 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 fuck! I warned you. I warned you about the quicksand. No, you warned me about the hat. That cometh before a fall, Cameron. <laughs> Ooh, Kickstarter. What about Kickstarter? Huh? Oh, one of the one of the many things I kickstart with my disposable income that's none of your business might be ready soon. Are you stealing from the YouTube money that we don't have? We literally make nothing. I don't monetize a single video. That's true. That's a verifiable fact. Wow. That was a lucky landing. That was intentional. Yeah. Sure it was. So was that. <laughs> Calculated. Yeah. We do not have anywhere near enough fans to make monetizing worth the fucking time. One of our videos almost got 200 views and that was a record for us. Yeah. That video with 200 views? A fucking meme, Cameron. It's not even like I put a lot of creative effort into that. I dubbed fucking Nor- Kenshiro. Fist yeah, Fist in the North Star over Korra. I mean- Cal that was a calculated success waiting to happen. Yeah. You know- Oh, awesome! I did it without yeah. crashing. Would have been nice if they actually showed us where that went instead of just implying. Nailed it! Yep. You know, it cost you four <laughs> lives and almost an episode, but Nailed you did it. Nailed it. I never get less than one star an episode. Yeah, you damn old die trying. Shining atop the pyramid. So I think I, we need to scale the pyramid. Or, alternately, I could get the hat. 
Or, alternately, just shoot yourself with a cannon. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Well, also, yes. Get the hat, shoot myself with the cannon. The important thing is... We're working to- Fuck! Oh, I tried to jump it. It blew it. Yeah. I was about to say an uplifting message about how we're doing it together with the power of friendship, <laughs> and you fucking dropped the ball. So thanks for ruining friendship. You're welcome. I thought My Little Pony was in charge of ruining friendship. No. It's the character with the spikiest hair in any particular anime. Verifiably spikiest. You gotta get a protractor on that shit. Yeah, Inu Yasha pretty much ruined friendship. But he didn't have spiky hair, he had flowy hair. It had spikes all the fuck over it. Eh. I'm talking like the dudes who look like you could suitably use them as a broom. Oh, like, um... Yugi. Oh, I was gonna say Tristan from Yu-Gi-Oh! with his just one single mono spike. No, see, that wouldn't be an effective broom. Spear, but not broom. <laughs> you could impale someone with that. And then there was Joey and his, like, wonder mullet. That's how Americans are, right? They all have mullets? Well, let's see here. Joey, Bandit Keith, Tristan had a variation of it. I thought that was the it. thing here. I think there's a room in top of the pyramid, maybe? Yeah, there is, but I- oh. oh! Well, I mean, if it was a snake, it would've bit us. I thought you face-planted, honestly. <laughs> Not quite. Wouldn't put it past you. I do that kind of thing a lot. Yeah, you do. Uh, you know, God. I completely forgot about this level until today. Really? Yeah. Cause this is one of my favorite places. No, I mean like where it was. Oh. Like I knew it existed, but I just completely In forgot. In the many halls of Princess Peach's Hogwarts-like castle. Yeah, why the fuck does Peach have these magical paintings and hidden walls of death? Well, she is a princess. Yeah, but I mean like... I, I think the implication is Bowser has cursed the castle. So none of this was here originally. None of this was part of the architect's original intent. I would imagine not, but I mean, like, again, what the fuck do I know? Yeah, you're not an architect. I'm not a- I'm not a magic architect. I didn't build the Death Star. I'm almost tempted to get the red coins, but... What, what, what are we after here? Are we going inside the pyramid this time? Yes. Oh boy. I was just sitting here hoping you had calculated that wrong. Oh, I don't keep the hat. Nah. Yeah, that would have been pretty funny if I'd fucked that up. I was gonna say, likely they don't keep the counter running. More likely what they do is that they just spawn a new instance of Mario inside the pyramid. Oh god, I have the hiccups. You're probably right. I mean, I'm not a good programmer. But that's what I'd do. <laughs> that's what I'd do. Then again, that's the literal easiest solution. It's an N64. Yeah. They don't have a lot to work with. Yeah. The fact that there's even save states was kind of pretty good. There aren't save states on the N64. There are save I mean, states like on the save Wii U. files. Oh. <laughs> fuck! Oh, I just threaded the fucking needle of fuck on that one. Yeah. It's kind of like that level on Mario Maker, except instead of going well, it went poorly. So I'm just holding the camera button, trying to lock it in place now. Yeah. It's about as good as you can hope for. Am I even going the right way? I don't know, man. It's been longer since I've... I have played Mario Sunshine more recently than this. Well... Well, I didn't die. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! I should just kill myself. <laughs> oh, Cameron. Oh, buddy. Come on, man. Uh... Come on, man. Just... Are you sinking, or are you gonna accept your fate? No. Never. I think there's a reason they have those flat pla panels back there. Fair enough. Come on, just worm your way out of the oatmeal. <laughs> what? Like, I, look at that. Doesn't look like sand. That looks like oatmeal. Thick, oh god damn oatmeal. it! It's not oatmeal, Jay. Probably isn't. But actually, have you ever seen uh, UHF? Uh... It's a movie starring Weird Al. No. Okay. Uh, basically, um, it's a movie where Weird Al's fuck-up of a character, um... Yeah, his, that sounds about right. Uh, yeah. his uncle, uh, happens to own an ultra-high frequency station, uh, which is, like, a TV station that can only be viewed within the immediate confines of a city. And All it's right. gonna get closed down because they have no viewership. And it's up to Weird Al to make wacky new shows 
that will attract viewers. And that sounds like- are you sure this is a movie and not something that really happened? No, no, he did have the Weird Al show, but this is a movie. I was gonna say, because it sounds like a series of events that would have actually happened in real life. Oh, I'd give a small-time TV station to Weird Al and just see what he can do with minimal budget. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, that's what the entire movie was about. <laughs> and it was actually really good. And, like, he had this weird scientist guy working for him, and this, like, mentally challenged janitor who he just gave a show to, and it turned out to be, like, their biggest hit. Wow. You really, uh... Didn't die. Yeah. Um... Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Boy, this camera situation could be better. Luckily, I remember bits about this level. Okay, because you're doing better than me. I don't remember a goddamn thing. This is all new to me. Oh, man, that fucking thing is horrifying looking up close. I know there's a star up here. Whether it's the star I'm going for... I... It remains to be seen. Like I said, I, I remember bits of this game. It's about as much as we could hope for. Now if only we could fix this camera problem we have. Okay, so I have to get under the swamp. Oh, he's going forward. Yeah, but then he comes back. Yeah. And I can't jump onto him. Nice, I believe he's slightly too tall. Okay, come on. God, he has the yellowest smile. Yep. You know what? He reminds me of a- he reminds me of just like monsters from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, kinda. With that face going on. And I forget what that cage is for. Maybe there's another star in there later. I believe so. Did I get the right star? Yeah, I got the right star! Alright. Oh, what do you know? That is actually the course number. So that isn't course mystery. <laughs> course seven. I suppose that makes sense. Where are we off to now? Uh, uh I think I can go fight Bowser. In fact, I think I could have fought Bowser a while ago. I'm reasonably sure you needed, like, 30 or something? I yeah. Don't I don't know, but then I found the desert level and nostalgia hit, yeah. and I'm just like, fuck it, desert level. Go fight him. Show him what, what for it means to be real Super Sand Legend. Super Sand Legend? Yeah. Well, I only have one life, so here's hoping. Blah! <laughs> this is bizarre. It's like you jumped into the fucking force field. Bored Bowser's sub. Oh wait, no, this isn't the part where I fight Bowser. This is yeah, you gotta, you gotta, how do you say, move that blue evil wall first. How many fucking water levels were there in 64? Three? Three. Uh, there's this. There's, dry, dry docks. There's and... that one with the fucking eel. And, yeah, that's um, dry, dry docks. And then no, there's no, the one this is dry, dry docks. Is it? Yeah. Huh. And uh, then there's um, one that's partially submerged, where it's like a construction site. Oh yeah, right. And it can raise and lower the water level. Right. And I'm not sure if you count that as a water level. Ah, but... uh, you do a lot of swimming. You in spend it. about a third of it underwater. It's, it's semantics. Yeah. Well, there was two ice levels, so they really fucking. They just fucking, you know, nailed down, like, three aesthetics, and they're like, alright, how many me levels can we get out of these? You wouldn't fucking believe, sir. Well, at least they only made one big small level. Yeah. Man, that place was cool. And that's, like, an established thing in Mario already. Big small levels? Yeah. Uh, it was, like, World 6 of Mario 3. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was hoping there would be a little mini level inside of the submarine. Uh, there is later. Mm. Alright, are you gonna go fight Bowser or are you gonna go, uh. I'm gonna fight Bowser. You gonna what, Bowser? I'm gonna fight Bowser. Oh, I heard that as fuck Bowser. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck Bowser. I wanna fuck that turtle. I mean, like, you know, it's, it's your life. I'm not gonna tell you not to. I really hoped you'd lost that. That was worth it. Fuck! <laughs> Was it? I hey, I I'm not dead now. I didn't game over. Yeah. Alright. It's just easier to butt stomp than it is to actually line up that jump. I'd imagine so. Fuck You got a bad at the whole precision thing. You'd think this would be, like, glowing hot, 
going through lava and what's effectively like a shopping cart. Yeah, but it's so much easier to just make the water red and call it a day. And lethal. Yeah. yeah. No, wait, are you saying like that was Bowser's thing? Like he just painted water red and just lets Mario think it's lava? No, I'm saying that's what the game designers did. Oh, yeah. Well, no, because the water in this game is transparent. Right, but it's... Oh, fair enough. Fuck! No, this is fine. It's getting less fine. Still fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's red coins to collect in Bowser levels. I can't remember if there was any... If you also had 100 coins or not. I don't know. I never got 120 stars in this game. I don't... I think I got it on the game... On the... On the DS version, but that's hardly a one-to-one -one, uh, remake. Yeah, what with the uh, three extra characters and the starting is Yoshi? Yep. Yoshi was not that great to play as. So was there a Yoshi on the roof then? Uh, not in that one. Oh, spoilers for this 5,000-year-old game. We're not fucking... It's not gonna fucking matter. Oh no, Yoshi's on the roof. That's been a fucking meme for years. Fair enough. It's like finding out that Dio can stop time. Yeah. Well, to be fair, JoJo's become a thing more recently than not, so... I mean, that might... That has a little JoJo's bit... JoJo's been a thing for so long, Jay? Yeah, I'm not saying he hasn't been a thing. I'm just saying he's hit, like, a recent huge boom in popularity since they made that new OVA. But that's because technology finally uh, caught up to the point where it can animate JoJo. Yeah. Josuke's got a lot going Fuck! on design wise. Yeah. God damn it. What with where the hat begins and his hair ends, no one knows. <laughs> That's true. Well, until he gets the white hat. Yeah. In Zapelli's jacket. I still like young Jotaro better. I don't know. I like older Jotaro just because I like. The I don't know. I think I kind of like the white on him. He looks good in it. But he's less angry. I don't know, he's still the same level of angry, he just got less to deal with on his own. That's true. <laughs> See, he's not as angry anymore, mostly because it stopped being his problem. Dio's dead now. <laughs> yeah. Now we just got this guy with the archery and such. You deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Your name's Jojo, you can do it. Your name- yeah, I love how, like, the title of Jojo becomes more of a stretch each time. Yeah. Like, Joseph Joestar? Yeah, that made sense. Then Jonathan was... Joestar? Yeah. Well, Jonathan was the first. Joseph, yeah. that made sense. Fucking... Jo um... Jotaro Kujo. Kujo. Yeah. Or Kujo. I don't fucking remember how Japan works. Uh, last name first. Okay. Uh, Jotaro Kujo. Yeah. But, Miracle yeah. that Holly was able to find someone with a last name beginning with Joe, huh? Yep. Oh, wait, was Jotaro his first name? No, uh, Kujo was his first name. Jotaro was his last name. Alright, because once again, I'm I really think. bad at... I'm really bad at understanding how that works most of the time. With honorifics and such. Honorifics? Yeah, I know, I'm... again. Nipponorifics? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking... Nippon Land fun... fun titles. Fucking backflip. Do and the backflip! I don't know, have you watched... have you been watching the, uh... What's that? Oh shit, we'll see you next time, folks. Bye, everyone!